Good morning. Hey, it's me. Today is Monday. I am finally feeling a lot better. Uh, still got a little bit of headaches, still taking my meds. I forgot to do this again. And still taking my medication. Feeling a lot better, so actually like fully got ready. Even like applied some dark lipstick because I was in the mood for it. That's like kind of today, <laughs> like the update on me for today. Today the weather is a little bit cold. We're supposed to be heading into spring very soon. But this is what the weather looks like. It's not, it's not looking its best. <sighs> but at least it's not raining. It says that tomorrow is going to rain the whole day. Let me show you my outfit because last week I ended up taking a little bit of a break from doing the outfits of the day just because I wasn't feeling well most of the time that during the day I was just sitting down. And, you know, it's been a week since... Uh, like I said, I talked to you guys about like not feeling well at all. So I promise I'm feeling better and I feel more like myself right now. Today's outfit, again, I'm like, can you tell like by my outfits and by like outfits even before the one, this one here, like weeks prior, vlogs prior, if you watch those, you'll kind of see that I always kind of tend to go back into like this kind of like, style of a time gone by you know feeling dramatic today okay so today's outfit i don't know exactly what era this is inspired by i just thought that i feel good in it and i love it so this top is from aguji hazas because they like make the best vintage inspired pieces with the touch no it's not vintage it's romantic style with a like with a vintage touch that's like i like that they don't go full on vintage where it looks like a costume but the, you can still clearly see the, the inspiration for it so this one it has like the details in the front it, i like because i wanted the collar to stay open i kind of popped these two pins like little like pearl pins on both sides to keep it open and because i didn't want it to be fully closed and because the collar is like so like straight up, sometimes even if I don't, if I don't put something to hold it open, it will sometimes close a little bit more and I really wanted to keep it open. And I also wanted to keep this like back part a little bit higher. So, um, I kind of did this. <laughs> I like, I like that I added another level of detail to an otherwise already very detailed blouse. So the bottom, I kept it very simple, just my leather skirt, my full leather midi skirt, that I got from Zara, but there are some really good options that I saw in like other places. I really want to try one of the black milk skirts, uh, just to see the quality, how it will look too, but I haven't got around to trying it yet. So I don't know where I would recommend. So if anybody knows of any like good places where they have like midi skirts like this, if you want to drop it down in the comment section, just so like other people, if they want to try to find it, they will. And if I like, if I, if I, it kind of catches my attention too, I would love to try different brands just to kind of be able to recommend different ones too. Uh, but I decided to pair with my Gucci belt just to kind of give it a little something gold here. Uh, Vivian Westwood pearl necklace. So I kind of feel like this part down, it's much more like alternative and like a little bit more like dark. And then this part, like from here to here, it's very romantic. It's like the extreme romantic. And then you look at my mouth and you're like, oh, okay, it still ties together. <laughs> yeah, so Vivian Westwood choker, nod your earrings. I also popped in like a little gold hoop here, like if this decide to focus, thanks. Uh, and also my lipstick, I decided to get one of my MAC lipsticks. I have one that is from the Cruella de Vil collection from the movie, the Cruella collection. And this is like the darker one. And I love it. And I absolutely love it. And, you know, when am I not wearing my Jaden Doc Martens? And then I also popped in my uh, armor ring this week. Oh, yeah, speaking of armor ring. The anime Nana is responsible for showing me two amazing things. Teaching me a lot about fashion. It's an amazing story, too. And uh, teaching me about fashion, it like it's a lot. I love it, and it presented me to Vivian Westwood. Well, 
I already kind of sort of knew, you know, a little, because I love like 70s fashion, like the whole like rock movement era and everything. Uh, 60s, like 70s rocker style. So I kind of knew a little bit more about it, but after seeing it on the anime and her, especially Nana, wearing the the armoring from Vivian Westwood, it kind of influenced me a lot more. So hey, you can get style inspiration from pretty much anything. And even animes will teach you a lot about fashion if it's the right one. So I have to give it a little shout out to my older cousin, Matt, Machi because he's the one who actually presented me with a bunch of like the my and the animes and mangas that I used to read and this week I actually found the first uh the first one of the Nana series and I've been searching it for quite a while but I finally found it and I was like super super excited so uh I actually got that one I probably will show you when I get home but Nana I love the fashion inspiration that I learned a lot from it especially the more alternative style Nana has one style or like uh hachi <laughs> hachi has the other like more girly style and i kind of like fell in love with both of their styles together yeah but that was just to say that i found the the manga that i was looking for a really long time and also talk about fashion inspiration because i think that that's a really fun thing that you can like always look for inspiration in different places whatever catches your eye your eyes it will probably always have an impact on you and in my opinion fashion trends are a great point to start but you shouldn't just follow fashion trends. You should like kind of look for similarities on different aesthetics, different things that you like. And from there, you can kind of start developing your own personal wardrobe where you're not just going, where you're gonna feel very comfortable with what you're wearing. And you're not gonna be worried if it's, this is out of style or not, because it's something that you're passionate about. I think that's one of the things that I kind of, after I started developing my personal style, I learned a lot was that whenever I was either trying to fit like to fit my style into fashion trends um I was always feeling self-conscious because it was kind of like oh like everybody's wearing this like is this in style or is this not in style I like this I want to wear that but you know it will probably stand out too much now I just don't care now I wear this on a Monday morning and I'm okay with it. And I got a lot of compliments just by walking the street. Like I was, <laughs> I was, I, mean, I was like stopping, uh, like waiting for it to cross, uh, to cross the street. And I was just like, I was just standing there. Like the girl was like, hey, I just want to say that I love your outfit. And I like had the coat on me. And she was like, I love your outfit. And I was like, thanks. That's so nice. <laughs> so it's really cool. So be comfortable in what you like. Don't worry about judgment. It's always going to be, it's all the confidence that you exude is what you're going to also a, a lot of the times get back. So if you, the more you're comfortable, you feel in your own style, the more you're going to see that it's going to feel different for you. Hello loves. So I did film that much in the store today. There were quite a few people walking in and out and I was just like the free time that I had, I was just like working on the website and kind of doing stuff like that. And I have to admit, I'm still a little tired. I'm still kind of like, kind of feel like still recovering. But I did want to eat something a little more healthy. I haven't gone back to the gym in about a week. And I don't know if I'm ready to yet, just because my head still hurts. Sometimes like my nose still closes up a little bit. So that's why I'm not sure if I should go today, but definitely I'll be back this week. But today for dinner, I felt like I wanted to eat something a little healthier but I had something very specific to eat, that I wanted to eat. I wanted to eat fresh mozzarella and tomatoes and basil and kind of just do a little light snack, if you would say that. And I'm probably gonna have like a toast or some eggs too. But for now, I'm just gonna get started on this and see how filled I get and then I'll decide what I will eat if I need to eat something else. But tomorrow's my day off. Tomorrow's also supposed to be snowy. So tomorrow is probably just going to be a day that uh, I'm probably going to be chilling in the house because I forgot my cabinets open. <laughs> but uh, Jonas actually helped me clean out the house this weekend, so I don't have to do much around the house. So probably just going to hang out here. Good morning. So today is Tuesday. It's snowing right now. It is also 
I was I didn't want to get out of bed, so I got my coffee in my uh, author's mug that Kenzie gave to me on my birthday. And you can kind of see that I already started drinking it. Mm. But drinking that and kind of just on my on the computer a little bit checking out some stuff uh i did upload like finish uploading a few things that i needed for a caleb and then um i'm also going to like just work around here i was thinking about going to michael's today but i'm not too sure because it's snowing and i don't know how comfortable i feel with driving in the snow right now you know uh, I still like feel sometimes I still feel a little bit dizzy even though it's been like a week sometimes I still do get a little bit dizzy because of the sinus infection so that's what I'm kind of being like yeah I don't know I don't know I don't know <sighs> but today if I don't go to Michael's that's the only thing that I was planning to do if I don't go to Michael's I'm basically gonna be a bed potato bed potato because I don't feel like being a couch potato because it's colder out there and I'm also planning on working on my jacket. Almost like, if not finishing it, it's taking a little longer than I wanted. I wanted to have finished last week, but last week, you know, sick. So I brought it home today and I was like, okay, so today I'm gonna work on it too. Wish me luck. I love you. This is how me and her are. Hi. Well, um, Tuesday, today, I decided that because I've been feeling not too good this past, like, week, today I decided to do some self-care. So, I first started with uh, my Olaplex, the number three. Uh, so I can like, I'm not, not gonna just leave it for 10 minutes. I'm just going to kind of put like something on top of it. I'm gonna leave it for like 30 minutes. I know that like it says to leave like for a minimum of 10 minutes, but I really want to leave it longer. It's been a while since I did an Olaplex treatment. And then afterwards, I'm going to do the number eight Olaplex, the hair mask, cause I want to have beautiful, delicious hair and I want my hair to keep growing. And especially because the back piece like this back section when um, 2021, I uh, discolored, discolored the bottom part of my hair cause I wanted, uh, I was dyeing it like a few different colors, like very colorful. So I did blue, I did green, I did uh, pink and purple and it was the pink and purple that completely damaged my hair uh, because they, uh, they over processed a little bit. And last year, on one of my earlier vlogs I talked about how my hair was and it has grown so much so 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 much I'll try to remember to leave a link to me talking about my hair journey that that year and it has grown so much since then and it's but the ends are still pretty dead and there's no saving it but I just want to make them also look good so I'm doing this and I also love this on my hair I don't need to do it that often because um, I only color my hair and I try to do the least amount of um, heat on it so I pretty much just blow dry it and if I need to do a little bit I mostly use like flat iron on my bangs but other than that I try to like only pretty much only use the blow dryer and a little bit of a flat iron but it's not every day and that's kind of my hair journey so i don't f and my hair is like also very fine so i have to kind of be careful with it because it does love to break uh and this is getting a lot better but it's still a little dry from like last week at least my nose is not red anymore which i'm happy but i think i'm also going while i'm doing the hair mask i'll probably do a face mask too now let me cover this up sit on my bed and keep working on my jean jacket I just finished washing, blow drying my hair, and it feels so good. I haven't even like did any like oil or anything, but I just wanted to show this bottom part 
because like it's grown so much i think the first time that i showed it was kind of like here so it has grown quite a lot i will have to check on the last on the video that i did the update but now last time i went to the hairdresser she cut like the ends of it so it didn't look weird underneath my hair so now there's only about this much of um the dead hair and it's about from here to here so there's about like a few inches for it to get to my natural hair but i'm excited like this whole part over here is like my natural color dyed because this kind of the color that i'm using is pretty much the same as my natural hair just I think a little with the like a, a little more red undertone but I'm pretty happy with it I like my hair a little redder so but I'm excited that this is going and my hair feels so nice so now I'm gonna put it up in a bun because I like my I like to have my like waves but I don't like to put more heat in my hair for me to actually like do the styling so I usually just put it up in a bun sleep in it and then the next day you know to close up this beautiful Tuesday night no didn't put on any makeup today you already know even though I'm working on my jean jacket still almost done one part of it I still have a bunch of more things that I need to do I decided that this dress that I got while I was in Brazil like two years ago I got it in 2021 uh it has like these buttons uh on it but I lost one and it kind of like I literally pulled one out accidentally and uh, you know I don't want to like and I want to keep the put a new button so I can still wear it uh but I don't want to put these boring ones I want to put like these I got this like little pack with like a bunch of different buttons and on Amazon these are like these were like really cheap so I got these they're the perfect size for this. So what I'm gonna do tonight is literally switch all of them because for some reason I decided that I wanna wear these even though I haven't thought about this dress in like two months. So that's today's project. And I wanna do this right now because I decided that I wanna wear this tomorrow. Don't ask, okay? I don't know why, too. Good morning, guys. So today is Wednesday. The weather is beautiful outside today. Let me show you. Look at that. Sun is shining right outside. And there's the Prudential. I already got here and I'm like running around. But I wanted to show you the project that I was doing last night, how it came out and how I styled it today. Let me show you my outfit of the day, first of all. Okay, this is how it turned out. So I actually, uh, this dress, I got it from the brand Gregory, and uh, it's from Maringa, it's from my city in Brazil. I got it, and I think this is a size 40 or 42 in this one, but this is Brazilian sizes, so, like one thing, like, Every country is always going to be different, especially with sizing, because no size, no like women's clothes is standardized. No, nobody's clothes is standardized sizing world, world round. So, but usually when I bought this dress, I was more into a size large, so it does tend to be a little bit big. And it, this is kind of like not a super fitted style of dress. So even though now I'm more of a medium. I still love it and I still wear it and I still think it looks good, especially because it's a little, it's supposed to be a little bit more oversized. So this is what I did. Uh, the buttons are actually kind of hidden by this little flap here. So like when you w open them, that's where the main buttons are. But I actually like it, especially because of the reason that when like, cause I don't close all the buttons all the way, it kind of gives it a little sneak peek like it kind of gives it a little bit of a detail especially like down here because i don't close the last two buttons it kind of like gives you a little something different so the sometimes when i change a certain outfit like this 
it's more as a like i change it more for the details for the overall details not because i want to make like this big impact sometimes i think customization of the outfits it can be subtle and it can be just that little extra level of detail that you're going to put into it and that's kind of how i go about certain customizations of certain outfits that i have so this one it also has let me I'll show you like the first, the outfit, and then I'll show you the details. So I paired it with my All Saints double buckle <laughs> wide belt. And because it's like, I wanted something that it was going to be very wide on the, on the waist. Uh, this one also has like a little slit on the side. Maybe if I get it altered in the future, I might get the slip up until here. Because I think it would look good. Especially like when you're moving like this. Jaden Doc Martens underneath the dress because it's so cold, you know snowing yesterday and everything i put this like mesh top that i have from amazon and i put the one that is uh like a tarot neck because i wanted to put my artisan ju uh, jewelry with it so i wanted that to kind of be able to pop in here and this is a mixture of metals so i kind of kept that even with my the mixture of metals i kept it with the rest of the accessories like with my gold hoop, but also like a um, silver spot. <laughs> I forgot what's the name of this one. <laughs> and then on the rings, I also did a mixed metal. I also added a leather bracelet because I was like, okay, it's going to be a little extra, you know? So now let me show you without the belt that, so I can show you the details of the actual dress. I can also wear this dress without a belt at all and I will still be very like happy with it. I like that. But I feel like without the belt, it's a little bit more sporty, you know? It's a little bit more. And, but it has the adjustment so I can like l leave it very loose or leave it a little bit more cinched. <clears throat> I left it more cinched in. And <clears throat> this doesn't necessarily need to be tied, but I like to tie it over here just so I can get it to lay where I want it to. And so I can, it'll be easier also to put the belt on with it. And then I just leave these two like kind of hanging out. So yeah, that's today's outfit. I did a very little customization to this one, but you know, if you want to start maybe customizing some of your pieces, kind of look into your wardrobe. Don't buy an, uh, something new. Look at your wardrobe and see kind of what you can bring in, like what you can choose. Cause you don't need to make a big investment. Uh, you can like choose like little pieces, like simply changing the buttons on something. It's going to make a difference. Maybe like adding a brooch or doing these little tweaks to something that is a little bit more simple or that you bought some in some place. You might start seeing your wardrobe a little different and it might like actually start getting you more excited to do it. So yeah, if you don't feel comfortable, I don't know how to sew with my sewing machine yet. I'm horrible at that, but I haven't like actually sat down to actually learn. Uh, oh, I forgot that I also didn't talk about this. This is just a little brooch that I put in because I didn't want it to open too much because, like, the underneath is very, like, you know, keep it PG. And, um, but yeah, that's, like, one of my best recommendations if you want to start maybe customizing some of your outfits or even if you go through it to a thrift store and you see something that you're like, oh, this is pretty cool and I think, like, I can like make little tweaks to it so it can be a little bit more of what I want. So definitely start looking for potential on certain pieces that you might think like, oh, like this is very like, like this, but I think I can make, start using your creativity, you know? And you don't need to spend spend a lot of money to look for like these. Cause I think I got the, the set with all of these like little uh, buttons. I think I got it on Amazon for like $10 and it, it comes with like, I think eight different types of little buttons like this and it comes with 10 each so it's not expensive you know and you can start getting more comfortable with like customizing your outfits and getting more excited about it yeah so that's today's outfit I've been doing a lot of stuff it's still pretty like early outside it's actually the middle of the afternoon but I did some rearranging around the store but I didn't film because uh, I was on the phone with my mom while I was doing it. And then like we would stop talking when somebody would come in. And she's like, she's at home today because she's like, she had to do some stuff. And now she needs to, she did like an eye, she has like an eye problem. And then she did some stuff about it. I'm not going to say it because she's probably, when she sees this video, she's probably going to be like, stop talking about me. 
yeah i i did so that part not gonna say exactly what she did or else she's gonna want to kill me love you mom and but i did some rearranging around the store and let me show you what i did so what i ended up doing i wanted to kind of have that part a little bit more as a display kind of take some stuff move some stuff around so we can make it less crowded because right now because of the transition like from winter from full-on winter to spring i do it's it's hard for the winter pieces not to look heavy next to the spring pieces so what i kind of started doing is let me turn around here kind of starting to this part like i might move the black ones out because i think they're kind of breaking up over here you know and i'm thinking about maybe starting to organize things by color too but i also moved a few like pieces that were around here but the main change is that those pieces uh that those are some of the ones that i took from this side and i moved it here because they are sets but uh i kind of wanted to take some of the shirts out out of here kind of leave this in a better like place because these most of these with the exception of these they need something underneath it so we also have the shirts over here i kind of moved this around you know this is a dress that i need to put back in its place but i kind of moved this around cut to have it like really long and really beautiful so people can see this dress better um i'm thinking about moving stuff around here because to be honest the jeans are not the best seller because we have other things that catch us more attention we are definitely heading more towards a place where it's going to be more of the romantic style and less of the casual that's one of the spoilers of what's coming in um so i'm thinking about moving some of these around i know that the pants i'm still going to keep a lot of the the, the the pants like going forward jeans i'm not so sure if we're going to keep it but the the dress pants are something that people look a lot for especially some of the ones that are not as long when you're shorter but these i'm gonna leave them here for now but i took the those those that were here moved them over there use this as a display for this beautiful dress kind of move some stuff around where the t-shirts that were on the other side now they are living here because we are starting to narrow down on uh on winter pieces so this part is kind of transitioning some of the heavier pieces to the back some of the lighter pieces to the front this is not exactly how i want this to look i'm still gonna move move some stuff around because we're going to get a lot more spring style soon so definitely things are going to change some things are going to go to different places i'm definitely going to start moving things around even more but right now i don't want to take them off because even though like spring is supposed to start this week the actual heat is not coming in until like a few more weeks or like another month or so beginning of spring is going to be very very cold and right now i'm gonna put you guys in the corner over here because i definitely want to rearrange some of these i want to make it more pleasant looking let me show you how the back looks i think it looks so much better so much prettier more organized nicer i need to do that to the rest of the store now but look at that why is it looking so yellow like this area is looking so yellow i don't have any yellow dresses here now it's looking much better okay so i started out with white the one that's pure white and then we have like other dresses and it kind of transitioned into lighter pink that are a little bit more like white like two more like stronger hot pink and then we go into like the pinks that are that have a little bit more of a purple tint to them then we go full on into purples and lilacs this is the purple one blue and then we end in green now that's kind of what i'm thinking about doing with the rest of the store kind of, especially in this area over here but i think i might need to wait until the rest of the collection comes in or i might do that but with what i have with each section without doing like i'll do probably like that with this section like start out with whites pinks and then end in the black ones maybe that's one option of what i'm thinking about doing and kind of try to do that with the other ones so i'll see how that goes <laughs>